So today uh, we did a um, procedure called the ideal implant. This implant is a newer uh, implant, was FDA approved uh, last year. It's a nice alternative to silicone implants. The patient today did not want to have uh, her procedure videoed, but I wanted to show and share the difference between the traditional saline implants, silicone implants, and the ideal implant. So the ideal implant is an alternative to silicone implants because it has the advantage of saline implant, but most importantly, it actually feels more like a silicone implant, which is one of the major disadvantages of the saline implant. And this new ideal implant has saline pockets within two different chambers that allow it not to be very bouncy like a uh, saline implant is and allows it to feel a lot more natural and the shape is a lot more natural, similar to a silicone implant. So for patients that don't feel silicone implants are safe, and I must say that silicone implants are very safe and even if you cut them, they don't leak anymore, um, it's a new alternative and those patients can have this new ideal implant. One other thing with silicone implants is the fact that silicone implants as part of an FDA uh, uh, approval are required to have in surveillance. Three years from surgery and every two years after that, patients will need to have MRIs to make sure they don't have a silent rupture. As rare as that may be, anywhere in the neighborhood of 5% or less, silicone implants, if they're ruptured, we wouldn't know unless we did the MRI and take a look to see if there's a rupture. The ideal implant or other saline implants, if they rupture, they will actually leak and it's a sterile saline, sterile salt water and will get absorbed by the body. And when, with that absorbed in the body, you would know because they slowly would shrink and physically you would know when you look in the mirror that you have an, a leak and will come and uh, do a replacement. The leak rate between saline and silicone uh, implants are the same and very low, less than uh, 5%. Thank you.